Hi there everyone, my name's Luke and welcome to my channel. So tonight I'd like you to join me on my third and hopefully final night of capture on an early summer target that I've managed to get a start on and that's the Pelican Nebula in Cygnus. I'll be using my Optolong L Extreme filter tonight and shooting with the colour camera, the 2600MC Pro. And uh, the first two nights of data that I've already captured actually look really promising uh, and I'm hoping that even though it's quite early in the season to be taking this target and its elevation isn't very high that I'll still be able to present you with quite a pleasing image at the end. So this is a target that I'm actually planning on reshooting again later in the year but by then I hope if they're in stock um, to be able to have bought the new reducer that's came out for the Esprit. Um, it's a 0.77 reduction factor, so it should widen the scope right out to around about 650 millimeters of focal length and somewhere around f5.4, I do believe, um, which should speed up image capture uh, a good bit at the, uh, at the expense of that zoom. But everything's uh, trade-offs and I think that this one will be worth it for a variety of targets, which is why I'm looking into purchasing that thing. Well, it's about half past 11 now, and uh, I can just see Deneb rising above uh, my neighbor's roof. And I know that the target I'm wanting to shoot, which is the Pelican Nebula, uh, is kind of just below that star. Um, <laughs> I really shouldn't be out here getting cold, but I'm kind of just watching its position in the sky, and uh, I'm just chomping at the bit, really, to get started. I really want to make, uh, make the most of tonight on this target and uh, bring you the absolute best end result that I can. Um, I think in terms of tactics when it comes to processing this target, I'm not gonna go for the usual uh, bicolor appearance, which often turns out quite red. Uh, I'm actually gonna process this and try to emulate the Hubble palette sort of appearance um, that you'd get if you'd shot this with the mono camera and uh, narrowband filters. Um, I'm pretty confident that it's gonna look quite good as I did a small test on this, uh, on this target with the data that I'd already captured uh, and it is looking promising, so more data should just make that more better <laughs> for want of a better explanation. Well, after hours of waiting, quite literally, uh, within the next 10 minutes or so, I should be able to start image capture on the Pelican Nebula. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this will be my, actually my third night of image capture, and if all goes well, by the end of tonight, I should have around eight to eight and a half hours, I think, of total exposure on this target. Um, in the meantime, I have got out the little mini rig. I've decided I'm gonna point that to a similar region of the sky, maybe around Deneb or Seder again and uh, just get some more practice in using that small rig, figuring out all its little uh, little niggles and nuances and just kind of get really used to using it so that when the constellations that I want to shoot with it are a little higher in the sky, uh, I'm ready and I've already done all the learning and I can just get to, uh, get to work on image capture. I've just got done focusing now and uh, before I slew away I thought I'd show you the technique that I use to make sure I'm imaging the same region of sky in night after night. So if you just go into the gear tab here on APT, hit point craft, then go to the images tab and navigate to one of your earlier sessions. So for this one I'm going to use the night of the 11th. Find one of your light frames. So this one will do. Double click it and it kind of automatically populates the expected RAN deck. And if you hit solve 
on this. It's just going to, in a moment, solve that. Image there you go. And then if you hit solved on center field of view at position, it inputs those in for you and you can just hit go to. And now it's going to go uh, make a movement with the telescope and align me back up exactly with the coordinates from the previous night. Well, I've been on my target now for about an hour. Um, perhaps just a little longer, actually, in truth. But day capture's going well. Um, no real complaints. Perhaps just like the overnights, the earlier exposures won't be of too much use. They're quite hazy. Uh, I don't think there's any clouds about or anything like that. It's more just to do with the amount of air mass that the, uh, that the telescope's actually looking through to take these photographs. Obviously, the lower down towards the horizon that you are taking a photograph, the more of the Earth's atmosphere you're actually looking through at any given time. Well guys, it's basically the end of the night now. Uh, I think I'm gonna take just three or four more exposures and then I'll have to stop as uh, dawn will start breaking and uh, brightening my sub exposures up a lot and ruin them. Um, tonight's gone absolutely fantastically well. Uh, I hope that you guys have been able to get out and enjoy yourselves and uh, use your gear a little bit if indeed you have some. Um, I don't know if it's been like this everywhere in the UK, but at least here we've had some uh, really unseasonably clear skies just kind of <laughs> out of nowhere, it seems. Um, it's currently April right now, and uh, at least here in the UK, it's more famed for its showers during this month rather than uh, long strings of clear nights, but I'm not about to start complaining. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm extremely hopeful that I'll be able to get a, a nice image from tonight's data. It's looking great now, uh, now that the target's elevated quite high in the sky. And uh, yeah, the little rig's doing well also. I'll, um, I'll share that image with you before the main, um, main reveal, if you like. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get back inside now, I think, and uh, warm up a little bit before I have to pack all this gear away. It's uh, kind of freezing out here now. Um, Thank you very much for your time, guys. I, uh, I really do, really do appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you next time. So, clear skies.